As you may have heard, Adobe will end support of Flash Player on this year, December 31st, which means that many browsers will probably remove the Flash as well. So we probably don't have any medium to use it. So in this short video, I will show you that how you can emulate Flash programs easily in your PC. So let's get started. First, we need to look at the software that we will be using, Ruffle which is essentially an open source flash emulator software written in Rust programming language. I like that emulator because it is very simple to use and it just works. Now let's look at how we can install it and use it. First let's head over to the Ruffles git repository which you can find link in the description down below. Then we go to the nightly builds and select the latest version. After that we download the correct one depending on our operating system. Since we are on Windows, I will go ahead and download the Windows zip version. Once that's done, we can extract it and now we are ready to use it. Using the Ruffle is actually pretty simple. All we have to do is to open up the PowerShell window in its directory. We can do that by holding down the Shift key and hitting the right click. Then we need to select Open PowerShell Window Here option. Once the window was opened, now we can run the Ruffle. But before that, we need a sample flash file to test it on. So I grabbed lightsabers.swf, which you can find the website link in the description as well. Anyway, to run that, we first need to type dot forward slash ruffle, then we give our file. In my case, lightsabers.swf. Now, when we hit enter, as you can see, it opens up a window and we can interact with it. At that point, I want to mention that before executing the program, we can also specify which graphics backend to use. Currently, we can choose between Vulkan, Metal, DX11, DX12 and the default one. Obviously, choosing the correct one depends on your current system setup. For example, since I have an AMD based system, both on CPU and GPU side, let's run it with Vulkan. To do that, we do the exact same thing that we did before, but in addition, we give dash G parameter and give Vulkan as an argument. As you can see, when we execute it, it works great. And that basically summarizes the desktop usage of Flash. However, you can also embed Ruffle in your website. So check the official website of Ruffle for more information. In any case, I hope you find this video helpful. If you do, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to see more content like this. See you next time. Take care.